In this video, we are going to see how to connect a GST 200 panel with a GST repeater panel. So, to connect a GST 200 panel with a repeater, we need network card 2 numbers. So, one network card will get connected on the panel side as seen here and the other one will get connected on the repeater panel side like this. So, these two slots will be normally uh, free so we can connect this card and the part code of this particular card is P9940A so the first step is get, by get the card place it on the location where we have this slot on the panel and in the card comes along with the ribbon cable you can connect this ribbon cable and it can get connected with the panel the port is extend port extend port so this is the first level of connection on the panel side so the next step is on the repeater side get take the card fix it on this particular slot and this card also comes with the ribbon cable connect this ribbon cable on this particular slot on the rep repeater panel main board so now the next step is how to connect so to connect this normally on the panel side you will have a 24 volt output port available as seen here you can take 24 volt output and get connected on the repeater panel side d1 and d2 port second this is for the power connection when you talk about the data communication from the panel side there will be a network port if you card uh, in the network card there will be a slot called b1 and a1 these two slots b1 and a1 will get connected to b2 and a2 on the repeater panel side so b1 come to b2 and a1 comes to a2 so this, this is the connection and the third connection part is from the same card network card will get connected here if you see there is b1 uh, a1 b2 a2 is there this four pin should get connected with network card b1 a1 b2 a2 so just a direct connection so this is the third connection so that's all about the connection part on this particular panel Now we want to see how to configure it. So we have to do all these activities by switching off this particular panel, fix this card and connect this as gated. Now we need to switch on the panel. So now we need to switch on the panel. First we want to check the network address. By default the new panel comes with the network address number 1 and the repeater panel by default it comes with the address number 2. So to cross check this whether the address is correct or not in the repeater panel if you go to system and it will ask the password 8 times 1 and click enter and there is an option called network setup 3 so there is uh, net local address it will show us the address of this particular panel so you can see, ensure that you first you need to check both the address. So this is the repeater panel side, the address is 2 and the main panel, the address will be normally 1. So first step is to check the address. Next step is come to panel, so repeater panel side first and you press system button. It will ask the password. Normally the password is 2422 and click enter and open the repeater panel and on the repeater panel side there is a button yeah you have a button no uh, that but this particular sk1 button we need to press and release the button so that the repeater will start to auto learn so once the auto learn process completed then you have to come to panel side and you need to do the same process like press the system button and it will ask the password give the password as 2422 enter and open the panel and the panel door said you have the same escape button is available you need to press and release so now the panel will do the auto learn 
so first we need to do it on the repeater side repeater side and second time you have to do this auto learn process on the panel side once this process completed and the panel boot so it will show network ok so that means the network card has taken properly so once it complete this process is completed now if you we have to reset the panel so in the panel you will see that there is a reset button available on the repeater side click the reset button it may ask the password eight times you can give one and click enter and then come to the come to the panel side and again you need to press the reset button so that it will also again as the password give the password eight times one and click enter so now the panel should start to communicate with repeater so to test this if you acknowledge it from the panel side the repeater sound will get muted and whatever the fault showing on the panel will also show on the repeater side So when we connect a GST 200 panel with a repeater panel or another GST 200 panel, we need two network cards normally. So one is on the panel side and other one comes on the repeater side. So that is the first point. Second thing is the part code of this network card is P9940A. That's the second point. Third thing is when, when it comes into repeater panel side, so repeater panel side there will be on off switch is there we should switch on this button uh, to switch on the repeater so that's the third point and fourth point is when it connect to connect this repeater panel it required a 24 volt dc so this 24 volt dc need to be given on d1 and d2 pins so this can be taken it from the panel where the power supply will have 24 volt output you can take it from the panel or you can have a local 24 volt dc 2 amps power supply near to the repeater also that's the third point so the next point is connecting this panel with the repeater to connect the panel with the repeater we have two options uh, one is called class b cabling other one is called class a cabling so what is class B cabling that means from the panel to repeater it is just connected so the, the, the return cable is not coming back to the panel it is called class B cabling so here if you see this panel 1 the first panel A1 and B1 goes to A2 B2 on the repeater panels so the return cable is not coming back to the panel again so this is called class B cabling the maximum distance from the first panel to the last device should be within 1.2 kilometer so the next type of cabling and secondly when you connect this each device each it, it can be a panel or repeater should have unique id that means panel should have one panel with address number one the repeater should be address number two it should not be with the same address that need to be taken care so the next type of cabling is called class a cabling when it comes into class a cabling uh, here if you see the picture panel 1 uh, goes to repeater 1 and panel 1 a1 b1 get connected with a2 b2 so the maximum distance is 1.2 kilometer again repeater 1 a1 b8 b1 goes to next panel or repeater a2 b2 so that distance again we can go 1.2 kilometer so this is called a class a cabling again from panel 2 it is going to panel 3 or panel n and again from the last panel it is going back to main panel so this type of cabling is called class a cabling in that scenario each device distance can go up to 1.2 kilometer so class b cabling panel to the last device should be within 1.2 kilometer but in class a cabling from first device to second device we can go up to 1.2 kilometer again from second device to third, third device we can go again we can go 1.2 kilometer thank you